So good afternoon guys, this is a new series about the history of Edmonton when it was created and uh, so this is the first place where they found the fort in uh, 1795 it was called Fort Augustus and it was built by the Northwest uh, Company NWC and later on Hudson Bay built another fort adjacent to that it's called the Fort Edmonton and later on they moved this fort to to the city of Edmonton where, where the present city of Edmonton is uh, to a place called as the Rosedale Plains where we had the power station so this is the historical monument to celebrate the location where the first fort was built and it is very close to the North Saskatchewan River. So as you know, the city was found by the British to import, uh, the city was found by the British to import beaver pelts to England and they used to transport the beaver pelts along the Hudson Bay River. So as you see the plains over there, that's where the fort was. So now the whole area is historic and it is all run by jungle. We are going to find some way to uh, go to the riverfront so we can have a look at it. So, uh, so this is far out of the city. It is around 47.5 kilometers from the city and this is the monument they built and uh, as you can see the surrounding areas are parkland so there is a trail here which says Fort Augustus Heritage Trail so we will go and see how it is So this might be the place where they built the fort. As you can see, it's all open grassland. And probably this trail leads right to the river bank. What an old risk I have to take to get some video footage for you guys. Let's 
So as you can see, this is the North Saskatchewan River. So guys, this is the second area where Fort Edmonton was built. Now it has the Rosedale water plant, which you see behind the fence. So this is where they had the second one. And afterwards, the Fort Edmonton, uh, Fort Edmonton was shifted close to the legislative assembly where you can see that dome over there we are going to go over there so the entire place was developed it's called downtown Edmonton so this is the Rosedale water plant there's no entry and I can I couldn't find parking either in this area Guys, this is the visitors building. So after the Rosedale Flats, what happened was the Fort Edmonton was shifted to Smoky Lake for two years and then shifted back to Edmonton and it was built close to the legislature. So that is where we are going right now. The legislature is closed due to COVID, but you can see the grounds over here. So some kind of uh, renovation is going on right now, maybe painting or cleaning or something. So these, these are the offices for the MLAs. So they have offices in these buildings around here. As you can see, they are accessible to the public, but you cannot go inside without an appointment. And to go inside the legislature, which is closed due to COVID. So COVID is an excuse right now to close everything. So all the public areas are closed. So these are some of the buildings of the MLAs. Hi. Yeah. Are you, do you live in Edmonton or? Yes, I do. I'm from England originally. You're from India. You're from the 
Yeah, Sri Lanka. Yeah, I was there for a month, my wife, but we couldn't cross over because they stopped the ferry. Oh, because okay. Of the fighting, you could have get a flight, maybe. Yeah. But, um, so, are you retired or retired? Yeah. Retired? Are you retired? No. Yeah. Are you a teacher? What do you do? Yeah, she's a teacher. Are you, what, what type in a teacher? In a preschool. In, in a preschool. Yeah. Preschool. My wife was a teacher as well. And it's different to Asia. I like Asia. Yeah. Better it. It's okay here. It's not as clean as it used to be. Yeah. There's a lot of people on the street and throwing them. It's, it's funny. I like it. We were just in Hong Kong. Before the pandemic, we was in Hong Kong, Singapore, Malaysia, Borneo and Bali for, for two months. And we travelled and kept going. And so it's... Uh, Singapore's... If I had the money... I probably I, we're thinking of moving to Costa Rica because we don't like what we see at the moment with all the political trouble. Oh, okay. Like my wife's a devout Catholic, and, and are you Catholic too? No, I'm not. I'm Protestant. Yeah. But, um, I agree with what it's very political. Is Canada, and it's not as it's not the country it was when I came. I came here like forty odd years ago from from Australia. So I went from England to New Zealand to Australia, then I came here. I have never been back to England or New Zealand. Mm. So, um, Why did you leave England? I left England because I was a young man and I was in the restaurant business. And the best what business? Place is to learn restaurant. Huh? restaurant. Oh, restaurant business. Okay. I was in the restaurant business. Okay. But the best places to learn it are like in Switzerland, Germany. Yeah. yeah. Not France. France is not. They're not as hard workers. They're not organised like the Germans. Yeah, my name is Joseph. Richard. Yeah, nice meeting. And Bini. 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 And it's, it's not as... It was... And I had a chance to go to... I got a job in Zimbabwe. Yeah. But it was Rhodesia. Yeah, yeah. But Ian Smith was in power. And I got a job in New Zealand. And they paid my fare. So I had a choice. So I took the job in New Zealand. If I am I would have gone to Zimbabwe. Home is for leaving. It's, 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 I don't care what anybody says, but I married an English girl that I met here. Mm. So uh, it just goes to show how, how fate or destiny. How long you've been in Canada? I've been here like a good 45 years. 45 years. Yeah, I lived in Winnipeg for two years. You don't mind being in the video, do you? No. Yeah. You know, I lived in Winnipeg for yeah. two years. It's, yeah. You know. It's a different, it's a different city, it's, I, but you know what, we talk about fate, when I got a job, when I got this job in New Zealand, they s said to you, which way do you want to fly, do you want to fly via Hawaii or fly via Hong Kong, and I said, oh, I want to fly via Hong Kong, and I filled out all this, and then a week later, they said, it's not possible, you're going to have to fly via Hawaii. I, I actually had a dream I was in Hong Kong. I went as, as a young man. I you travelled a lot, eh? No, I'll tell you what happened. And then they said you can fly to uh, Hawaii via Los Angeles. And I caught the plane in London, and the plane flies all the way up to Scotland, and it turns over Greenland and Iceland, and it flies over Canada. And if you see sometimes big, big, big planes in the sky here. Yeah. They're flying over Edmonton because if anything goes wrong, they can land. And the plane I was flew right over, I was on, flew up over Edmonton, and I saw the river, and the pilot said, if you look over to your right, you'll see Canada's most northern populated city. And he said, there's an oil boom happening here. Yeah. And if somebody would have said to me, that is where you're going to settle, I would have never believed them. Mm. And I've been to Hong Kong like five times now. Wow. So it's still, it was, you know, like you don't know fate and, you know. Mm. Are you yeah. happy away from India? Yes. There's a lot of plastic, you know, they've got tremendous plastic bottle all, all over Asia. 
yeah. they're dumping bottles in the ocean and they're not drinking yeah. what tap can water. you do right like they have, to, they have to make tap water drinkable, drinkable. yeah they have so to if that is not happening what happens is people buy bottled water and they throw the bottled water everywhere right Balish. i hate it malaysia and the bottles are coming from sudan from saudi arabia yeah they're that far away and they're you know, and they're not picking them up, but even they're just throwing them, the local people. Yeah. Are, and it's because you cannot drink tap water in England. You can drink tap water, you can drink tap water here, and it's not going to kill you. But there. Nice meeting you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm just making um, a, documentary a, a documentary about the city of Edmonton. Yes. Like a uh, historical um, view, right? Like how Fort Edmonton was established by the Northwest Company yes. and the Hudson Bay. We went to that place called the Augustus. Have you been to Fort Augustus? It's close to Fort Saskatchewan, by the Saskatchewan River. No, I don't. I've probably been there. They don't have much over there. They have a heritage trail and they have a, like a stone hedge or something. Yeah. Uh, like a memorial about that uh, fort. But then it got moved over to close to this place, the Alberta Legislature. And uh, the buildings were southeast of these uh, yes. buildings. In 1914, they built it. But then what happened was they fell into disrepair, right? Yeah. Like Hudson Bay moved their offices from here to permanent buildings on Jasper Avenue. Yes, that's true. Yeah, yeah and all the timbers, they were lost. It's a funny what's happening. The political situation in Canada, they're trying to bring it down and nullify it. They want to make the mm. history, they want to change the history, they want to change it. Yeah. It's not perfect. We wanted to go to Fort Edmonton Park too because they have a replica of the oh, yeah, original yeah. fort. But it's not open today, right? So maybe this Saturday Can or we Sunday. go down to the Blackfoot? Have you been to the Blackfoot? No. Have you heard about it? No. It's a Blackfoot cooking lake. Cooking lake? Okay. It's places you can go hike into and they do the ski tour in the winter there. Uh-huh. Yeah. How far is it from here? Uh, cooking it lake is uh, not... mile drive. How much? It's past Sherwood Park. It's just past Sherwood Park. Oh, past Sherwood Park. Yeah. Okay. You know, Winnipeg's a more... It's... Canada's a funny country. It's the second largest country in the world. Very little population here, really. There's no population here, really, and the Caucasians are on the way out anyway because they're not having children. They're having dogs. Yeah. You see, they're <laughs> married, young, a couple of dogs, two dogs. They're not. They're not. Um, I, I, I don't know. It was. I grew up as a, in a competitive society. It was, it was competitive. If you didn't work, you were buggered. Yeah. You had to work, and it had to be. To make money, you have to put something in. And Even in India, it's not easy to survive, right? So it's a survival, survival of the fittest. Really survival of the fittest, yeah. Yeah, in India, you know, like, if yeah. you don't work hard, you know, like, you're gone, right? Yeah. Well, the population is vast. It's what's nearly, is it nearly a billion? It's 1.3 now. It's 1.3 1. billion. Yeah, we've been all over China. We've been to... It's the foreign education... If you're not academically educated, the best education is travel. You have to look. Some people can travel and they don't look at it. My wife is far better academically educated than me. She's not a street sprint as me. So it goes to show that you can... Sri uh, Lanka, they built the railway up to the top. You go to, and the nicest people are the people from Jaffa. Yeah. The Sinhalese. And not a sociable. And I went into a museum there and I saw um, pictures of the atrocities that have been committed with children picking up women and putting them into food bodies. And, uh, it was terrible. And they, if, if you go to Jaffna, the churches that bombed them because the people thought they'd be safe going into a church. They weren't. Uh, very educational. Bye. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's kind of, I think it is close.
kind of walk in circles. Hello. 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 Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rainbow, rainbow flag.
Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.